Breathe and make my way down through the sweary bay. Lay down. Grasp the wire. Yes. Elbows in. Hit. And storm is passing by. And I start to stare. Hit. What am I doing? I should be standing strongly. you guys. Hey dancers, welcome back to the Dance with Miss Ati channel. Today you get to take a full length contemporary dance class from my dance app T and Me Studio. This is the ultimate beginner dance app filled with progressional structured training that has zero ad interruptions. It's basically everything you would get from a dance studio, but at home. Enjoy. Hey dancers, welcome to our full length contemporary class. Today's routine is called Wild Sea. So the structure of this class is going to be a nice dynamic warm up with some stretching, a little bit of conditioning and technique work. And then we'll move into our routine, which will teach you facing the back of the space, just as if you were actually in the studio with us. So what I want you to go ahead and do is separate your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna start with a few jumping jacks, moving into some high knees, moving into some kick butts, and then into some squats. Okay, so go ahead and follow along. Here we go, dancers, and five, six and seven, this is up, and two, three, let's go ahead and flip, and one, and two, and three, and flip, and one, good, and flip to the front and up. Now to the front, good lift, beautiful. High knees, here we go, take it up. Good dancers, we're always breathing through another eight. Kick those booties and lift. Good dancers, go ahead and separate your feet wider than hip width apart. We're gonna take some squats down. This time we're gonna go squat and lift and then we're gonna go squat, squat, squat and lift. Okay, here we go, six and seven, this is down. And lift, hold it down, one two, three, and up, and down, and lift, good, and pulse, 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 keep going, and down, good, our weight's back in our heels, down, 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 and a one, and up, and bump, 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 good, keep going, down, and up, and down, 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 good, one, and two, pulse, down, 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 last time, this is pulse, and up, now hold the pulses down. Good, breathe it up. Bring your feet in close together. Let's go ahead and turn our feet to first position, dancers. We're gonna do some elevés. So what I want you to focus on in these eleve is to make sure that your weight's between your first and second toe. You wanna make sure when you're going up, you're not buckling those ankles back. So go ahead and self-correct yourself as you're moving through. Dancers, you're gonna take your arms to fifth en avant, so in front of your body. Take a little moment. If you have a mirror or maybe someone dancing with you, have them check to make sure that your posture is neutral. You're not sticking that booty out facing um, kind of the back of the space, right? You're lifting up through those abs. We're gonna press up and do 16 eleve. Five, six, seven, this is one. And lower, two, lower, three, lower, keep going, and four, lower, beautiful, five, lower, yes, six, lower, shoulders are pressed, seven, lower, Eight, that's gorgeous, this is nine. Yes, get those heels forward, 10. 11, beautiful, and 12. Good, nice focus, 13. Good, 14. This is 15, we're gonna hold the last one up, 16, hold it high. Arms up to a high fifth position. Good, dancers, take a moment here to drop your shoulders. Dig those heels forward so we're finding our rotation, our turnout from those hips, yes? Good, good, good. Beautiful, when you're ready from this position, you're just going to bring them parallel and fold all the way forward over those hamstrings. 
Good. Take a moment here, dancers. Any time a stretch is too much for you, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just absolutely miserable in this stretch. I want you to take a little bend in your knee. There you go. Good. That's a nice little demonstration there. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, take that leg back or those legs back up to be straight. Gorgeous. Very good. And let's do a plie all together. Good, and stretch it up nice straight. Good dancers, I want you to stay folded, but I want you to go ahead and latch onto your elbow. So the opposite hand is grabbing the opposite elbow. From here, you're gonna walk your feet out a little bit wider than hip width apart. Good, or just step it out, perfect. Now you're gonna take a nice plie and you're gonna swing side to side. Switching which knee is bent. Good, this is just a moment here for you to relax into your stretch. Um, dancers, if it feels better for you to release your palms to the floor and kind of sweep side to side, yeah. That is another option right here as well. Perfect, go ahead and keep kind of cruising through. Bringing it back to the middle, holding it steady. Let's take our palms to the floor. Take a nice plie through those knees. Stretch up straight, that's beautiful. From here, dancers, you're gonna turn your toes to the left. So we're gonna go ahead and face that side of the room. Those legs are so nice and straight. Good, we're dropping this hip down. Allison, can you show if you open this hip? Yeah, this is what we wanna avoid. You wanna bring that hip square to the ground to get a really good hamstring stretch. That's beautiful. From here, my loves, if you feel ready, flex that front foot and bend that back knee. This is just kind of getting deeper into those hamstrings and into that calf muscle. Beautiful. Hold it there, coming back up to a straight leg. Let's go ahead and take our ponche high. So you're gonna take that right leg up. Good, go ahead and release it forward. Beautiful, hold it there. Good, I want you to stretch this leg as straight as possible, this top knee. Good, hold, hold, hold. Beautiful. Ariana, can you show if, if someone has not as much of a range of motion and maybe they're a little bit lower? So come, yeah, up to a ponche, maybe like right here. Perfect. You're still getting into that hamstring, okay? Doesn't matter how high your leg is, it's more so about the technique of it. Good, both dancers, come on down to having both legs straight on the floor and then into your high lunge. Very good, holding it here. We're making sure that that back leg is so nice and straight. That's beautiful, dancers. Drop that knee to the floor. Press up tall on that front leg. Good, this time, my loves, we're gonna sweep those arms up and over our head. You're gonna take a slight back bend. Good, and then release it forward. Beautiful hands to the floor, that's so good. Tuck that back toe into that high lunge again. Beautiful, let's stretch it up nice and straight again, nose to your knee. Yep, both legs straight, perfect. Go ahead and go back to the center. Your toes are now facing the front of the space. Good, holding it here. If you want an extra challenge, you can walk your hands back through your legs. Beautiful. Good. Awesome dancers. Come on back to reset. Now we're gonna to go to the other side. So you're gonna turn your toes to that right side. Good, go ahead and hold it here. I love that we're dropping our hips. I love that we have a flat back. We're leaning over those legs and we're not rounding our spine. Beautiful. From here, we flex that front foot and we plie that back leg. Good, dancers. Beautiful, go ahead and stretch up straight. Gorgeous, from here, take that ponche nice and high. Beautiful. Remembering to keep both knees super extended. You don't wanna have a bend in the knee, just a slight, um, a slight bend if you're someone who's hyperextended. You don't wanna lock the knee joint out, but you do wanna have it straight. Good. And five, six, seven, eight. Good, bring it back down to straight legs. Drop into that beautiful high lunge, dancer is good. Holding it nice and steady. I love that straight line from that front knee down to that ankle. Yes, beautiful right there, perfect. From here, we drop that back leg down to the floor. We bring our hands up to our knee. 
The more you tuck your booty in this stretch, the deeper of a hip flexor stretch you're gonna get. Now, breathe the arms up nice and tall, arch back if you would like to. Very good. And release all the way forward. Beautiful. From here, dancers, we are actually going to shift back with a flexed front foot. Very good. And then we'll come back to a low lunge. One more time, shift back into a hamstring fold and then forward into that lunge. Tap that back toe, let's flip to the front, point those toes up and over to the other side once more, into that high lunge, into your low lunge, into that hamstring fold. Beautiful, hold it there for me. Think of elongating your back here, yes, that's beautiful. And then back to your lunge, Back to your hamstring fold, flex that front foot as hard as you can. Good, back to your lunge. Gorgeous, one last time, back to that hamstring fold. Good, dancers, from here, if you can sit all the way down, swing your legs into a butterfly facing the front, perfect. Our feet are in together, we're sitting up super, super nice and tall. Beautiful. We're gonna breathe the arms up to a high fifth position. From here, what we're gonna go ahead and take is our right hand down to the side of our body and then stretch that other arm up and over to the side. Good. So you're taking a little moment to stretch out this kind of side body right here without letting your booty come off the floor. Yes. Good, come back to center. Beautiful, arms up high, drop that other hand down to the side and stretch the opposite direction. So good, dancers. Take a moment here, beautiful. Reach your arms back up to the middle, both arms high. Go ahead and fold all the way over. Take a little breath here, take a little rest. Good. Beautiful. From here, my loves, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. What I would love for you to do is to face the side and shoot your legs out straight in front of you. Beautiful. You can take your hands behind your booty as a cue for you to sit up nice and tall. Sometimes it's really easy to, to slouch or kind of crouch down in this position. Yeah, that's perfect, so you have a nice tall back. We're gonna flex and point and flex and point. Good, really working through the entirety of the foot and point, good, and flex, and point, beautiful, flex, and point, flex, and point, gorgeous. Now you're gonna roll your ankles out, whichever direction you would like to go, keeping that lift in the upper body, beautiful. And then the opposite direction, Make sure those feet and those ankles are nice and warmed up before you put a lot of pressure on them through dance, yeah? Now go ahead and point those toes, dancers. I want you to separate your feet about one foot apart. Reach your arms up nice and tall without rounding your back. You're gonna reach up and flat back over. Yes, good, 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 hold it there. Beautiful. Ariana, can you demo if someone's not as flexible yet, maybe they can just bring their hands to the tops of their thighs. Perfect. This is a stretch right here. Do you see how she still has that flat back right there? You still feel a stretch. Perfect. And then Allison's down, so if you want to stretch all the way forward, maybe demonstrate perfect having those hands farther out. Beautiful. Ariana, you can drop over, love. Good, holding it there, dancers. Now everybody's gonna flex those toes, pull them back towards their body, and flat back, yes. Perfection, holding it there. Good, all right, dancers, you're gonna point those toes, stay where you are, lay on your back for me. Good, go ahead and lay down, take a little moment here, sink into the floor. You're gonna bring that right leg into your chest and hold, good. You'll notice, dancers, that that bottom leg is still so straight and that toe is still pointed, so you never wanna be passively stretching. Everything's activated and working. Good. That right knee then, dancers, is going to fold over to that left side, beautiful. And you wanna look over to the right. So you always look the opposite direction as the way that the knee fell. Good, take a moment here. In this nice spinal twist, you're making sure you're breathing through. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and reset and center, bringing that right knee into your chest. You're gonna lace your hands underneath your right leg and stretch the leg up straight to the sky. 
Good. Now, the answer is right here. It's so easy to do a few things wrong. It's very easy to bend your knee. It's really easy to kind of like hike your hip up. Yeah, or do this, right? So I want you to keep your leg nice and extended. I want you to keep this knee, pre or excuse me, this hip down to the floor, the supporting hip. Now from here, loves, what you're going to do is flex plie, bring that leg in, and then extend, develop the leg out. One more time, flex plie. Take note of that supporting knee to be nice and straight. One more time, plie in, stretch up. Yes, good. Now bring the knee into the chest. Beautiful. And go ahead and switch. Other leg comes up. Perfect. Good, holding it here. Taking a deep breath, you're gonna drop into a spinal twist. So that top knee drops across your body and then you look the opposite direction, dancers. Gorgeous. Take a little moment here. Bringing it back through center. Good. Straighten that supporting leg. Now let's go ahead and lock that leg up to the sky. Good. Lengthen those supporting legs. Dancers, point those toes. Beautiful. Don't worry about the height. If you're someone whose leg is not all the way up to where you can grab your ankle or your foot, you can think about grabbing underneath your um, hamstring as well. Yeah, that's a good example right there. Perfect. Go ahead and flex plie, dancers, and then stretch up nice and straight. And flex plie, and stretch up nice and straight. Good. Last time, flex plie, and stretch up nice and straight. Good. Go ahead and release that leg down to the floor. Go ahead and roll to face uh, this other side with your belly button on the floor. Push those palms down and up into your seal stretch. So in this stretch, dancers, we're relaxing the booty and the low back so that we can actually get a stretch. We're dropping our shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna work through the spine to push into your child's pose. We do have a child's pose in this routine, so you really wanna make sure that you're lengthening through in this exercise. Beautiful. Gorgeous, holding it there. From here, let's come up to a downward dog. Gorgeous, press and hold, beautiful work. Dancers, if you really wanna work those arches and those calves, you can push up and over into kind of like walking the dog. Yep, go at your own tempo. That's perfect. Beautiful. Go ahead and hold it nice and straight. From here, dancers, we're gonna move into one minute of plank. You're just gonna walk your hands out to your plank. If you would like to do plank from your forearms, that's completely fine. We're gonna hold one minute here. And hold through. Beautiful. Take a moment. Good. Keep breathing throughout a plank. You never want to hold your breath when you're conditioning. Thinking of having those hips be level. Beautiful. We're really pushing out of our shoulders. You're not sinking down. Good, my loves. Hold it there. You got this. Mind over matter in your plank, right? Good. We are halfway. You got this. If you need to shift from your elbows to your palms, you can do that as well. Sometimes I get bored and I like to go from elbows to, to hands. That's totally fine. Beautiful. If you are someone who's hyperextended, bend your elbows a teeny tiny bit just so they don't get locked in. Good dancers, just 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, breathe. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and release down. Good. Dancers, grab some water and then let's start the routine. Okay, I'm going to grab some water with you as well. And then we're going to walk through from the very first um, steps all the way through the end. We'll break the routine up into a couple different chunks and we'll do them with music as well so you feel really comfortable. The coolest parts about these full length classes is to make sure that in order for you to feel like you're in the studio with us, 
we will be facing this direction, okay? So let me grab some water. Dancers, you're gonna begin facing this diagonal. So go ahead and start facing over there. This specific routine is strong, it's powerful, it has a lot of accents to it. So what I want you to focus on as the dancer is making sure that you're kind of carrying that power and strength with you in the movement, okay? So it's not too, too flowy, um, but it has some kind of grit to it. Are you ready? <laughs> you're like, quit talking, okay. So. We are going to start to the diagonal. We're here. You're standing up so nice and tall. You're about hip width apart. When you begin to walk, your hands kind of come to your hips. I kind of imagine you're like, just maybe a little angry, okay? You're like breathing in all of this emotion, okay? So it's not too soft, but it has some, again, grit to it. So we're standing up nice and tall. This is push out and out. Now, if you notice, I'm leading with my heel. I'm not doing kind of like pretty pointed toes through. It's heel, heel. Now, I have this leg back. I'm going to step my feet together in parallel. When I step my feet together in parallel, I clasp my hands really sharp in front. So I go, Whoa. Yes, okay? Now, that has that energy there. From there, can I actually switch with you? Will you guys scooch back for me? Perfect. From this position, I'm going to step back on my left foot. What I'm gonna be doing is this little tuck jump, and it has a lot of power to it. So the arms swing back. I go from here, I step. My right leg is gonna release forward, and I go push, step. Yeah, good. Okay, you'll notice that you're now facing the back of your space, okay? When you're facing the back of your space, you are completely flat to it. So make sure that that jump from this clasp, step, tuck, and gets you to be directly to the back, okay? Let's go from the top, dancers. I'll get out of your way. So you're facing the diagonal. You're about to step on your right foot. Hands are gonna come to your hip. Six and seven. This is two steps. This is one, two, clap. Step, jump, and hold. Yes, very good. Okay, from this position, you have an inside fan. If I were to show you facing what would be your back to come forward because this fan takes you from the back to the front. It looks like this. You're coming up and over. Yes? So from this position, you need to step on this foot. So I'm going to step on my left foot. My left arm is going to cut in front of my chest. Cut, and this right arm flies over. It kind of reminds me of like a bow and arrow moment. It's going up and over. The left leg stays bent. The right leg is doing a kick and a round. And it has a little bit of a jump to it. Step and. Okay, why don't you try? Go ahead on your own time. Just go ahead and step through. Good. Try it a couple more times. The leg height does not matter. Yeah, good. Can you guys try again, maybe to a, like a lower one, just like a little 45 degree? Ready? Six and seven, eight. We go step, kick. Pretty good. Okay, that's really nice. Let's go from the top. Go ahead and reset a little bit to the left over here. Yeah, Allison, you want to scoot back a tiny bit left? Perfect. Six and seven, eight. We walk, <laughs> clap, hit, jump, and step, step and kick. Okay, from this position right here, your weight is actually in your left knee. Perfect. You're going to be swiveling over your right shoulder this direction. Yes? Now, exactly. You're going to be lifting that right leg a little bit up so that you can tuck it to the floor. Go ahead and tuck. Yeah, let's try that again. So your weight's in your left leg. You slow mo, I'm gonna do it super slow motion. You turn over your right shoulder, that right leg lifts, and that is what goes to the floor. You're tucking that foot to the floor to sit down. Okay, go ahead and try dancers. Six and seven, and 
swivel, tuck. Yeah, good. Okay, let's go from the top. No music, and then we'll go with music, okay? Here we go. Six and seven, eight. Walk and boom, boom, and clap. Step, jump, and push fan. Up and over, swivel, tuck the knee. Good. Let's go one more time. Scoot a little closer to this black wall for me. Five, six, seven, and this is walk. Walk and clap and jump and a push fan. Up and a swivel tuck. Good. Okay, good dancers. So a couple notes. When you're doing um, that swivel, you want to keep your upper body lifted so that you are not also crashing down. Does that make sense? If you go from your fan, you maintain a lift through the crown of your head, you'll have a much more controlled lower as opposed to on the floor, <laughs> okay? Try it, just that swivel for me, keeping that in mind. Six, seven, and lift up and swivel. Yeah, it has more control. Let's go from the top with music, okay? Go ahead and reset for me. All right. And I make my way and down through the sweet remain. But, but, yeah. Grass for Let's go again without me. Good, you guys. Standing up tall. Make and way. clap, jump down through the sweary bay. Ba ba, good. Good, you guys can stand up. The storm is passing. Cool, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead and move on, okay? So you are actually, I don't know why I had you stand up. Go ahead and go back down to the floor. Good. Okay, from here, dancers, you did this super powerful swivel and tuck, okay? You're gonna be laying on your right side. So that right arm is gonna kind of sweep you down to lay. Go ahead, boom, boom, and over. Beautiful, good. From this position, dancers, you're doing a really beautiful back roll up and over to lay on your belly. Go ahead and demo, roll, flat, good. Go ahead and reset this. Come on over closer to this black wall. I'll scooch over here. Yeah, so you just tucked. Your right knee is down. Beautiful. So nice and slow motion dancers, you lay down on your right side. You do a back roll to lay on your belly, and then you hug those hands into the sides of your ribs or your chest, really. Okay, hold here for a sec, loves. You see that their legs are straight. Their legs or their feet are pointed. Their hands are right by their side, okay? Their head, their cheeks are turned to face the front. You wanna make sure you're not like propping your neck up too funky. Make sure that you're just looking to the side. Okay, from here dancers, you need to squeeze your core. What you're gonna be doing is pressing up into kind of this little, like a triangle shape almost. Yeah, go ahead and demo you two. Beautiful, so they use their abdominals to kind of fold in and then they'll release back out straight. So what you wanna focus on is squeezing the abs, lifting the booty and the knees come in at the same time and then you go out. You're kind of like a little folding book and then you're closing again or opening again. Ready, six and seven, eight fold in, release out. Good, these dancers are also majorly pushing into their palms. The palms being into your side kind of give you this leverage to push through your triceps or those kinds of backs of your arms to be able to push up into that triangle position. So what they did was triangle down. Now what they're gonna do is triangle, push into a child's pose. So they send it back, that was lovely, up and back. And then they'll roll up to just be sitting on their knees. Good, can you do that whole section again, laying from on your um, stomach? Perfect, so their hands are in, they go fold in like a book, release out. Fold like a book, child's pose, sit up on your heels. Yeah, good. All right, dancers, go from 
tucking to the floor from that inside fan. So you have your right knee tucked and you're sitting like this. You're about to lay on your side. Perfect. Ready? Six and seven, eight. They lay to the side. They roll. They bring it elbows in. Fold and bring it out. Fold child's pose. Roll back. Sit up tall. Good. Let's go one more time. I want to clarify that you are laying on your stomach first before the knees go in. Try it again. So go ahead and tuck that right knee down. Perfect. So you lay on the side. Go ahead, lay on your right side. You roll on your back. Everything's connected. Now lay flat on the floor first. Bring your elbows into your ribs. Good. Now you fold in, release out. Fold in, push to a child's pose, sit up on those knees. Gorgeous. Okay, awesome. Dancers, let's move on from here. So this next section has this kind of little fan moment with your, um, with your arms. So you're sitting nice and tall. You're about to step up on that left foot. So you step here. Perfect. Now, don't do the arms quite yet. You're just going to turn over your right shoulder to face the front of the space. So come on back down. Sit up nice and tall. You step up on that left leg. Squeeze your core, squeeze your booty. Just turn around yourself. Yep, it's kind of like one of these guys to get yourself up and over, OK? Now, the arms. Come on down to the floor. OK. You step up on that left foot. Your right arm is locked and loaded, ready to go. It's going to kind of initiate your turn around yourself. Once it reaches the top, it hits the bottom. The moment you hit the bottom, you're in this kind of circle position, your left arm is going to reach up and over, OK? So go again from the floor for me, loves. Awesome. Step up on that left foot. Right arm swivels you around. Right arm connects down. Left arm up and over. Yes. OK, good. From this position, go ahead and reset over here. This gets a little bit more complex with the timing and clarity. And this is where that kind of powerful grit comes in, OK? So we just stood up. We did this beautiful fold over. You're doing a chenet turn, nice and simple. Bum, bum. Step. When you step, your palms open to frame your eyes. Go ahead and hold here so they're lifting up nice and tall. Your hands are framing the sides of your eyes, OK? So you go here. The right arm goes high, high. Come behind your head. You do two pulses down. One, two. The way that you get that kind of sinking feeling is to bend the knees, yeah? So you're here, this is bend, bend. Good. From this position, we do a pas de bourre. Left, right, left. Right hand comes underneath your chin, and it lifts your chin up tall as you step together, OK? Now, I know this is a lot. We're going to go over it. From this being lifted, you cross right arm, left arm, sink. It folds around itself and down, OK? Let's go ahead and go from the chenet turn. <clears throat> so you just did up and over. Chenet, nice and slow. Arms come down, frame the eyes. Reach, reach. Head, sink, sink, pas de bourre. One, two, three. Left hand down, right hand lifts the chin up tall. We step together. From here, cross, cross, sink, unravel, down. Do that again for me. Here we go. From the chenet, six and seven, eight. Chenet, frame the eyes. Reach right, left head, sink. Sink, pas de bourre, bum, 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 chin is up, cross X, X, sink, unravel. Good. 
Good. Dancers, I think it'd be valuable to go with music from the top up until this part because this is so like on the music, okay? Let's make sure we have it. So let's go from the very, very top with our music, do our best to get through, and then we'll finish it up, okay? Here we go. I make my way Jump Down through the sweary bay Hold, roll Grasp a while Elbows in, up the And good, up Step by. Swivel and I start to stare What am I doing? I should be standing strongly and firmly Good. Grabbing my chair. Dancers, let's go again. It's a little faster <laughs> than we were teaching, yeah? So my recommendation is the part that will kind of throw you off if you don't get up fast enough is that step into this, into this, okay? So the way that you make movement faster is to squeeze your core. If you kind of don't have control over your body, it's gonna be hard to make movement tight. So if you squeeze your abs and you're getting up, you're swinging around yourself and over. <laughs> Keeping that core and that booty tight, you'll have much more power and control over the timing. Okay, let's go again. I'm gonna scooch out of your way, so maybe like stagger a teeny tiny bit. Cool. I make my way. Clap, jump. Sit. Good leg. Grasp a while. Elbows. Up. And. Storm is passing. Swing by. and left shunning. I start to stay. Hit. What am I doing? Hot break. I should be standing strongly and firmly. Yes. Grabbing good. my chin. Okay. Awesome. Tight as I stumble. Brave and serve. Cool. Okay. So dancers, practice that part that has all of these kind of gestures with it. Um, there's a fine balance of having the strength that comes with this and still kind of flowing through it. So you want to make sure it's not like, bah, bah, da, like a little bit robotic. It's still strong, but there's still some kind of fluidity to it. Okay. Um, shall we move on? Okay, awesome. So where did we just end? We did, I should be stand. Okay, awesome. Dancers, do me a favor, scoot closer to the black wall. Perfect. Okay, from this position, you went boom, boom, pulse, drop down. Now, your right leg is coming up and back. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Do that again for me. Go parallel. Six and seven, eight, up and back with that right leg. Good. The arms are going shoulder roll back and then close those fists. So it's kind of like you're pushing something forward and it stops you. And yes, try for me. So we're down six and seven, eight, roll, hit. Good, beautiful. From this position, you turn over your right shoulder and you do a swing kind of releve. It goes up to a flexed foot. Yeah, good. The moment you turn around, dancers, I want you to think of lifting through the chest, yeah? So try not to keep the eye line here. Everything needs to be a little bit higher with a flexed foot. Try again. So we're down in a plie. Yep. Now you go roll the shoulders back and hit. Now lift up and turn. Good. Yeah. I like that we have different heights with the legs because that shows kind of the different dancers out there. You don't need to have the leg like literally up to your head. It can be as low as a 45, 90, wherever, okay? Now, let's scooch back. From this position, I'm gonna kind of come in line with you guys because we're gonna jump, okay? From here, you're facing the back of your space. You have two steps, right? left, and then a saute arabesque. So you step on that foot and you jump up on it, okay? Your arabesque has that straight leg in the back um, and a straight supporting leg. So both knees straight, pushing up off of those feet, up off of the ground, okay? Now, typically your saute arabesque might have like 
a little ballet arm or like something really structured, what I want you to think of doing is actually just kind of like floating the arms out. Think of it as more of a free jump than anything else. So dancers, mark this for me. We came here. You're up on a releve. You're about to go step, 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 jump, cross in front, okay? Let's do that facing the back so that they can learn. Go ahead and come right here for me. Perfect. So flex those feet. We are up on a releve. You go step, step, so take arabesque, step front, okay? Now, you are facing the back of your space. So for the sake of not confusing you, I do want to face the back. Go ahead and turn around, you guys. After you step in the front from your arabesque saute, that back knee is ready to tuck to the floor. The front leg is ready to extend to the side. When you extend to the side, your arms come to a T. Then you bring your arms to what I call a genie position. Then this side of your elbow is going to tuck under, okay? As you do the tuck under, that leg drags in, 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 and you sink to sit on your heel. So it's structured, but you have your whole body kind of collapsing down. Try it again. So from here, we go T, genie, melt, crumble, crumble, and then release the hands down. Good. Let's go from, um, we're about to turn around. So you just did cross, cross, plie, and release. This is up, back, and up, step, step, saute, arabesque, cross, front, drop down, go T, genie, crumble, and hold. Yeah. Dancers, let's go from the very top with no music, and then we'll go with music, okay? I'm going to kind of scooch out of your way, so feel free to get closer to um, the wall. Take a deep breath. We're starting on that diagonal, standing up so nice and tall. Here we go. Six and seven, eight. This is walk, walk, clap, jump, and a hold. Step, fan, swivel, turn, lift, up, press. Good, lay flat, roll on your back, elbows in, push up, release down. Push, child, pose, sit up, left foot, right arm swivels around, left arm up and over. Here's your shunne, this is shunne. Frame your face, go reach, reach, head, pulse, pulse, pas de bray, bump, 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 chin up, X, X, pulse, Release it down. Good. Roll the shoulders back. Flex to face the front. Step, step, saute, arabesque. Tuck. This is T, genie, collapse, and hold. Good. Let's go with music from the top, you guys. Go ahead and reset. So it feels flowy, but oh, my voice went so high. It feels really flowy, but when the music comes on and you hear kind of the vibe of the music, it has much more of a punch to it. Okay, so channel that, all right? Stand up so nice and tall. We're facing the diagonal. Here we go. they can see. All right, dancers, we're going to show you as if you're kind of our audience, okay? Um, let's hit a nice little triangle. I think I'll do this one with you. All right, here we go. Breathe and I make my way down through the sweet bay. Lay down. Grasp the yes. elbows in. Hit. Storm is passing by and I start to stay hey. What am I doing? I should be standing strongly and firmly Chair. Grabbing my chair 
ahead, you guys. It's so I Good job, dancers. Beautiful work. Thank you, thank you. We will see all of you guys in the next class.